Hello friends, welcome to the 50th session of Hybris tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn a very important concept of Hybris item types. We are going to learn what is the default length of the item types, right, which we can declare. You can see this is the item type, this is the code, and this is the corresponding table, right? So a corresponding table will get created into the DB with this name. Right, so is there any limit on this or there is no limit? For example, if I'm creating this relation, is there any limit on this uh, a relation code name or is there, uh, is there no limit on this? So guys, there is a limit of 24 characters and why this limit is and where this uh, configuration is done, this configuration is done in the advanced.property file. So this file is present in the platform extension and because of this limit only, because of this configuration only, we do have a table name maximum length of 24 characters. But if you want to, you know, increase the character length, how you can do this. So guys, for that, what you have to do, you can just increase its length to a certain limit, not to like, uh, uh, you can increase it to like 30 characters, but it's not possible that you can increase its length to like 100 characters because there is a limit at database end as well. But you can increase this limit to a certain extent. So for example, guys, if I create a, new relation teacher to student relation if i create a new relation right if i create a new item type or a new relation for example i am creating this new item type right so i am creating this item type new item type i have created so what i will do i will just copy the existing item type so this is the existing item type right and then what I will do, I will just give its length more than like 24 characters. So this length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We will increase its length to say 27 characters, right? So then I will, what I will do, then I will just give one more property. So ideally, if you don't do any configuration changes, this will get failed once you perform the system update. At that time, the system will say that this limit is not allowed, right? So to make it working, what changes you need to do, you just have to copy this property, right? And then you have to go in your local.property file. And where is my local dot property file for that guys? I have to go in my config folder and I have to open this local dot property file. So this is my local dot property file. And over here, guys, what I have to do, I will just copy this, uh, paste this property and it will increase its length to say like 30 characters. So in this way, now I will be able to insert a item type with greater than 24 characters as well. I can show you this as well. What I will do, I will just bring my server down, right? And then I will, what I will do, I will just um, build my project. So I'm just firing the ant all command and this will take some time. And once the build is finished, once the build is finished, then we will directly bring our server and we'll try to perform the system update so that this corresponding, you know, this corresponding table can also get created into the DB. So guys, now you can see build has been completed successfully. Right now I will uh, try to bring my server up. So for that, I am firing this command hybrid server dot bat. And this will take around like 10 minutes to bring my server uh, up. So let's wait for the server to come up. So guys, now you can see server has come up. Now what I will do, I will just go to the HAC and I will log in with my credential. Username is admin and password is the nimda, right? And then we will firstly try to search the newly created item type. So this is the newly created item type. We will see whether it is there or not. So you will find that it is not there. We need to perform the system update, right? So I'm just trying to search and you will see that a red strip has come. So it means it is not there. Now we need to perform the system update. So how you will perform the system update? I will just unselect these two options and will keep the update running system only. And I will perform the system update. 
and you will notice that even the limit or even the length of this deployment table is more than 24 characters but because of this property which we have given right here in our local dot property file present in the config folder because of this property only now we will be able to you know uh, create this table into our database so let's wait for the system update to get finished then we will uh, verify the newly created table So guys, you can see system update has been finished successfully. And if we try to search for this item type now, you will see that this item type has been created into the DB as well. So I'm just going into the flexible search section, right? And then I will just try to search select star from, right? So this is the one. And if I just click on the execute, you can see this is the table name and this has been created so guys i hope this concept is clear to you what i wanted to say so it means by default there is a limit on the item type name or the relation name and that limit is 24 character right that limit is 24 characters but we can override this limit to some extent right for example in our case we increase this limit to 30 characters but it is not possible that we can increase its limit to 100 characters because there is some constraint constraint at db level as well so we can increase the limit uh, to some extent right but not to a large extent so i hope you guys this video is informative for you and you will be using this video in your projects as well and guys, if you like this video, do share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching. Bye.